Hey guys, just wanted to show you our um, microwave. So basically what happened was our microwave that we've had for a few years now, um, the paint started chipping up on the inside. So we went, so we went and bought a brand new one at Walmart, brought it home, plugged it in, and it really had a lot of outgassing. So um, Jerry's like, oh, I don't think we should be around that. I don't think that's very healthy, which it's not. So we unplugged it. We put that in the basement and we thought maybe we would um, run it down there and let it out gas. But we haven't done it yet because we went to, we were driving by this place and the other day and I was like, oh, let's go in here. It looked like a little, um, it looked like an old grocery store, but they changed it into a thrift store. So we went in and we was walking around looking and here he come across this Hamilton Beach and um, there was no price tag on it and the woman had first she said it was just basically um, you know like you could offer whatever you want and so then she came up to us later and she said hey um, the price tag fell off of it we were gonna charge twenty dollars is that too much for you and we're like no that's okay so uh, what happened was we just um, decided to clean it up to see you know make sure it's clean and everything and it was very clean to start with anyhow but we thought we'd clean it better so there's the inside and it this one's a thousand watts and just like the new one we bought was a thousand watts oh I'm yeah not sure of the year but these buttons are actually better they stand out they got more settings for what we do all the time like baked potato the other one didn't and it's dark against dark but my, what i want to say is i really recommend if you don't want outgassing from any appliance if you find a good one in a thrift store or yard sale consider getting it and good chance the old days they maybe in pitchforks or other things they made tools better but anyway the price you can't beat but most of all the outgassing is done already by somebody else so i ran it for 30 seconds in the store and i didn't smell anything but we didn't really try to cook anything yet no. so yeah think about that you know if you don't want that outgassing think about getting it used on purpose save the money save the fumes it's an idea <laughs> yeah and so the only thing that we noticed cosmetically was this part here is sort of yellowed compared to this this is real white and i just took um baking soda and vinegar and went on around it they say to set it out in the sun but of course we don't really get much sun around here so especially nowadays but um yeah but we're gonna go ahead and try jerry's gonna make a first bowl of oatmeal in it we thought how exciting yeah <laughs> so, i'll be the guinea pig since i found it at the store so it's just a regular bowl of um quick oats quick and goat. you also got this bowl at the thrift store too isn't it True. cute <laughs> That one she let me do, donation only. You come in, it's donation only, then you get a big ticket item. All of a sudden, she forgot the price tag. I was still wondering about that, but whatever. <laughs> a good price. Here we go. Time cook. Then you put the minute. You know, you put the time and then the start. Let's see what happens. At least at 900 watts on a old one, it went a minute and a half. It might not take that long at 1,000 watts. I just taped down. That showed some good care from the former owner. Or the store did it, but they taped down the thing the plate goes on. I thought that was showed oh, some yes, nice it caring crack attitude. Oh, yes, it doesn't crack or bounce around. <laughs> yeah. So what do we do? We bring it home and it let it bounce around. <laughs> it didn't really bounce around much. No smell, huh? Man, in the vents. No, I don't think the there will be a clear. smell. So this, I redid some research on this. And no this um, microwave was dated 2017. And I, it looks like yeah, it yeah. might have been a Walmart brand because on the back of it even says Walmart. Of course, Walmart got their hands in everything nowadays, but um, the reviews on this thing was not good at all. Um, the reviews going way, way back said how they couldn't even last like a year. But apparently this one lasted over a year because <laughs> it's still running. You have the model number of this. And the model numbers, yeah, in the back. We'll give them that at the end. All right, 10, 9, 8. <laughs> I just always do a minute and a half to set on quick oats. The other oats I'll put on two and a half. Oh, it's interesting. Let's see. Okay, let me pause. Not this overwhelmingly a hot. Okay, I had to get a spoon. <laughs> so, what is he going to He's going to just test to make sure it's hot enough first. Hmm, needs a little more. 
Yeah. Oh, to experiment with because it doesn't need much to soak in water. Okay, so it looks like he needs a little more time. If it was 30 seconds, we said so. This is just a 30 second quickie. Come on. <laughs> Warmer. He's going to try it here. <laughs> That's better. Is it? This one needs two minutes. One of the reviews, yeah, I've got like a 2.5 out of 5, but that's adequate now. I don't oh, care if it good. means cook it a little longer, but 1,000 watts, 900 watts shouldn't be. You know, cook it hotter in a minute and a half than 1,000, but okay. I've always done it too, so it doesn't matter whatever you, you normally do. But no smell, that's what's so nice. <laughs> You so, didn't smell anything, right? No, now. there's no there's no more outgassing. So when you buy old microwaves though. like this, this is our first old microwave. <laughs> We've always bought in brand new, but the chemicals just has gotten so bad on these things. I don't get why they oh, keep sickening. doing it. They say China is the largest, um, com the largest country, right? That well, has, I think China's um, biggest export is chemicals. Chemicals, industry. right? So I see. Um, <laughs> So anyways, I don't want we, to be a victim of that we just kind of thought that we'd show you that you can get an older appliance. appliance or anything like that and try to restore it the best that you can and still have something good. Remember the Amana stove? We'll we go had? ahead and put some water in just for, um, just for the heck of it. And we'll okay. see how long it takes to boil water. Okay, so there's a cup of water. I'm just going to put it in. Let's see how long it takes to microwave. We're going to put it... Uh, I'm going to start it on in two minutes. And we'll see um, if it boils in the two-minute time. Because it should, right? Um, yes. It's not the same. Remember our old Amana? I remember the name. A-M-A-N-A. -A -A. Yes, we, we have one. That stove took uh -huh. about a year to outgas. It's nauseating. Remember in the summer, we run at 500 degrees a few hours and get out of the house? Yeah. Nobody should have to put up with these chemicals. Just like VOCs, volatile organic compounds in there. Like things like formaldehyde, nasty stuff. I wonder when you live a healthy lifestyle when there's so much cancer going around. Look to the indoor environments and environment. Yeah, even with paint, <laughs> um, he told me, he's like, okay. I don't want to use regular paint to paint rooms or anything like that. He had a company. Do you remember the name of that company? That you Ecos. got paint from? ECOS. ECOS has paint that you can actually stay in your house while you're painting it. You don't have to. You should have fresh air, but you don't have to, and it would still be safe because they use product, they, whatever they use in it. It's very safe. Them, no, we're not sponsored by them. We'd love to be because I'd love to get paint for this kitchen. I like the walls in here. These are sort of blue, but, um, or a bluish gray, but it would be nice. So I can show you the. Boiling? Yes. Or just get it I'm going to get it boiling. Oh. We're going to see if it takes two minutes to boil water. Which it should probably start boiling. I think I see it boiling in there already. There Let's see. Well, it was moving around. So Maybe keep it going. <laughs> you can kind of see. You know what? We got so much. Um, you can see Jerry and all the. Food on the table. <laughs> I guess it's because of the light coming in the window. But we'll see. Two minutes, we'll see how long it takes. And as I'm eating this, it's pretty good. It feels pretty cooked. Oh, good. So start with oatmeal, baked potatoes. Try the settings. Let's see. Oh, it's very hot. I can tell you that. Wow. For sure. Feel that. Wait, let me put my finger. Oh yeah. oh yeah, that's very hot. So yes, two minutes is plenty for a cup of like hot tea or something, you know. So, anyways, that's our review on this um, microwave, and um, not get the model number. Well, okay, hold on one second, guys. Okay, guys. So here's the model number right there. P one hundred. N 30 AL S3. Yeah. That's the model number on this microwave. In case yeah. anybody runs across it or whatever um, and wants to get one. I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for everyone, but um, this one here seems to work. Okay, and another thing, just real quick. Um, we needed to learn how to set this clock and I was like, how do we do it? And we looked at several videos and we couldn't even find a video except for one person. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick while we're here. Um, so basically what you do is you press clock. If you want the regular time is that if you want military time, it's 24, but we go back to the regular time. It's 315. So we'll just hit three, one, five, and then you have to hit start. 
and that's it. That's how you do it. Because let me show you how we were doing it. This is the wrong way to do it. Clock, three, fifteen, clock. You hear it beep twice. And um, when I was doing that, it went back to zeros. So I don't know if it'll go back to zeros now. But um, <laughs> uh. I don't know. Maybe it's holding now. But that's how you do it. Let's change the time to 318 just to see. 318. Hit clock again and see what happens. Watch it not do it now. But it was. Yeah, it was no, hitting. It, it was, was going was. back to zeros. <laughs> it was. Believe me. But uh, we were, we kept going. Oh, see, it went yeah. back to 315. So that's how you have to do it. Before, so yeah, zero. Three, let's see, 18, and then hit start, and that should stay. And they say for all Hamilton Beach ovens, that's the same method. <laughs> yeah, they say for all Hamilton Beach is the same way to do it. But anyways, now you guys know how to set a clock on Hamilton Beach <laughs> microwave. All right, this video is getting long. We hope that you followed all the way to the end. Um, don't forget to love yourself and others. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos of randomness because um, right now we're using taking our music to Jerry's uh, Piano Bar, our concerts, which we do every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Eastern Time. Eastern Standard Time. So um, if you're here for the music, that's where you can go there. We'll, we'll try to put up a video of us doing a cover or something from time to time. And lately I've been doing just a couple random videos just to keep you guys, you know, keep you guys in the loop. Um, My channel too. <laughs> Jerry does have, you know, so if you subscribe, subscribe to his channel. I also have a guitar channel I started called Jolie's Guitar Channel. And that's basically where I'm going to do covers, some originals, some self-teaching i'm not actually paying someone to teach me anyways if yeah. you want to follow along in my journey go there so like share subscribe and hit the bell for more and don't forget to love yourself and others and we'll see you on another video bye bye, bye. guys